Hi Pisces, Happy New Year! This is your December 27th through January 2nd weekly tarot reading. I'll do four spreads this week. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week we have the Queen of Wands clarified by the Three of Cups, we have the King of Swords, we have the Three of uh, <clears throat> Wands <laughs> clarified by the Chariot and we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or you could be dealing with a Cancer. So we do have a King and a Queen and uh, you could be embracing the energy of either one of those two characters. Um, the Queen of Wands if it's uh, you are embracing, you are the one who is embracing this energy, then the, this is somebody who takes their power back. This is somebody who is very passionate, very fiery, somebody who is easy to get up and go. Perhaps you have some fire in your chart. Then uh, the King of Swords, if it's not uh, you, because it's uh, usually an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, then uh, this is an energy of somebody who is very direct, who is very precise. Uh, this person could be sharp with their words and they usually if this person decides to go for something they usually go for it and uh, oftentimes they get it. So there you are, a couple, <laughs> a king and a queen. Yes, you're different but uh, you vibe on a very similar level on the uh, king and the queen level, right? And uh, the two of you will be uh, uniting in this amazing, beautiful connection. So the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups. This is a card of a union. And um, actually you could be meeting this person at some kind of an event or a party or a gathering if that is at all possible considering what's going on in the world. But the Three of Cups could be indicating some kind of a party. It could be a New Year's night party. Then we have uh, the Three of Wands clarified by the Chariot. The Three of Wands for me personally is when somebody made up their mind, somebody made a decision about something and uh, in this case this is a decision to move forward with this relationship and I have a feeling that this is both of you deciding to do just that and um, the three of ones is uh, clarified by the chariot uh, the chariot is exactly what I just said moving forward moving forward fast um, the two of you could be deciding to go on a trip together almost immediately after the two of you meet or actually you could be meeting this person while you're on the road somewhere if you are on vacation right now you could be meeting this person there. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck and uh, that's exactly how this is going to make you feel. Um, as a side note for a very small portion of you this relationship could start off as a third party situation because the Three of Cups could often represent a third party situation but uh, then the decision will be made for the two of you to get together and leave your existing partners, right? So the two of you could be uh, getting together. But this is just for a small portion of you. For most of you, this is just the two of you are meeting at the right place at the right time and uh, you're making a decision to move forward and both of you are going to be really happy with the song card. All right, so that's what I got for you so far. Pisces, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Three of Cups, we have the Fool, we have the Chariot, and we have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be going to a party or you could be going on a trip. And uh, you're not going to care about what's going on in the world, you're taking a leap of faith. If you can interpret this spread in any other way, please do so on the bottom in the description box below. Right? So the Three of Cups, this is a card of a party or some kind of a gathering or an event or a celebration. Uh, the Fool is uh, taking a leap of faith and the Chariot is uh, actually going or traveling someplace. Right? And the Six of Pentacles, it could be you spending money on that trip or on that uh, party or at some point you will be contemplating should you go, should you stay, should you um, take precautions or do whatever you need to do and uh, eventually you will decide to just take a leap of faith and go. Alright, so that's your life, up to you. I'm not judging you it's, if that's what you want to do, just as long as uh, you stay safe, Pisces. Alright, so um, that's pretty much it right here. 
Let's see if anybody comes back from the past review Pisces this week. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords. We have the Hangman clarified by the Three of Swords and we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So most likely you are dealing with that Queen of Pentacles right there. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is very grounded and this person is down to earth except for um, every once in a while and uh, those times they uh, cheat on people, okay? <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Swords and uh, the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, this is a card of a deception, this is a card of somebody who sneaks around or this person is just in general up to no good. And uh, we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And uh, Pisces, consider yourself warned. Do not get back together with this person. They will break your heart again. They are definitely up to no good. We have the High Priestess, the first card that came out. The High Priestess in this case is all about something they're hiding from you. They do have an ulterior motive. Um, I think they just need you or they just want to use you. And uh, they will break your heart because we have the Three of Swords right there next to the deck. The Three of Swords is a card of a devastation. This is a card of a betrayal. This is a card of a breakup or a broken heart. So consider yourself warned. Pisces, do not get back together with this person. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Pisces, this week. We have the Lovers, clarified by the Chariot and the Knight of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. We have uh, Temperance, clarified by the Four of Cups. And we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Gemini, or a Sagittarius. So I, this spread can be interpreted so many different ways, especially after I clarified it. <laughs> the main... Uh, card I think here is the Two of Swords right there in the middle which I did not clarify. The Two of Swords is some kind of a crossroad or a choice you'll have to make. And here's where it uh, varies in different ways, in different scenarios. So scenario number one, if you are deciding between a Gemini or a Sagittarius, then the Gemini is going to win. The Sagittarius is going to get rejected. If you are deciding to whether or not to reconcile with uh, one particular person, if you're just dealing with one of them, potentially an ex, they could be coming back from the past and uh, asking to bury the hatchet with you. Unfortunately for them, they're getting rejected. <laughs> um, you could be also deciding whether or not to go on some kind of a trip or not. And... Uh, or you could be deciding between multiple destinations and one of the destinations is going to get uh, rejected but another destination will get your vote and uh, you'll be going to that particular destination. There's other ways to interpret this spread but I think I'm going to stop there. You can always leave me a comment, let me know how this spread plays out for you but there's definitely going to be some kind of a choice for you this uh, week Pisces. Alright, so that's what I got for you for this week. Hopefully it resonates, and uh, other than that, have a great week and an amazing Happy New Year. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.